Hey guys, it's Lady Raven, the Wild Witch. Um, I am here today to give you guys the, a reading for the week. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to start doing these more often. So for today, the deck that I'm going to be using is this deck right here. It is the Wheel of Fortune Tarot. It's a really, really cool deck. I love the imagery. I really love um, the accents. I don't know if you can see some of the cards in there. The imagery is really colorful and it's pretty. There's a lot of emotion and feeling that comes through this deck, which is one of the really cool things. And you see the cards have like that um, bronze color, copper color accent on the side and in the back. So um, very, very cool deck. I just got this, I, I want to say maybe like, you know, uh, a month ago or something. Hence, I've been playing with it really, really cool deck. Um, so anyway, diving right into it. So today I'm going to pull two cards and the two cards that I'm going to pull for the reading of the week, and that's probably going to be the format I'm going to be using every week. So one of them are, what are the obstacles we need to be aware of so that the, these things that kind of stop us from being productive and from doing the things that we want to do. And then the other one is what are the opportunities that we need to be aware of so that we can take advantage of them when they come into play. So these are the two cards that I pulled today. And so when you, we're first going to look at the obstacles. And this is the card that I pulled for the obstacles, which, by the way, I love the imagery of this card. You can see the lady sitting there um, very kind of together and, and um, content. And she's got her glasses all stacked up behind her. So this, to me, cups are always cards of feelings and emotions. So this talks to me about kind of being in that state where you have a lot of things going on. You know, it's a nine. She's got all this crap. And a nine is an uneven number. So to me, it's it's like it's something that could easily tip the scales in one way or another. But she's managing it. She's managing it by, you know, keeping everything stacked where it needs to be. So the reason why this is an obstacle is a lot of times when we stretch ourselves that way, then that one last thing comes in. This is when the whole thing comes crashing down. And this is when we, you know, we just kind of come apart emotionally or mentally or however. So I, I want you to be aware of that for this week. And if you are feeling overwhelmed and if you are feeling like you have tons of things piled on top of you, which I would say 90% of us are feeling that right now with all the stress going on in the world. So... I, I would I would encourage you to start thinking about that instead of just taking it all in and trying to organize it is just kind of flowing with it so when it, when th something comes in just flow with it and then release it back so the idea of it is don't hold on to all of the things all of the time so if something comes at you this week then you can look at it and say wait a minute do I need to deal with this today is this a this week problem or is this something that needs that I can deal with next week so let's say something comes in and it's a task you have to finish by the end of the month and you still got three weeks to do it then you say okay well I don't need to deal with that this week I'm gonna put that on next week I'll freak out about that next week and then who knows maybe when you get to next week you won't need to freak out about it but it's all about maintaining your emotional health and your emotional balance when things keep coming at you um, just look at it evaluate it and and really the two things that sap the most energy from us and the most um, that unbalance us a lot is first of all when you have things that come into you that you have no control over so we have that freak out we have that emotional distress that happens over it there's absolutely nothing you can do about that so when you have the situation have a I always say have a freak out because you need the release so that emotional freak out is very very important just don't hold, hold on to it just once you have it say well you know I, I it sucks I had my freak out there's nothing I can do about it I release it back it doesn't mean that you have to forget about it. It doesn't mean that it's not going to impact you. It doesn't mean that you don't, you're never going to deal with it. It just means that you can go ahead and just release it back and see, um, and then really take in just the things that absolutely have to be dealt with this week. So that's what this card speaks to me of in an obstacle. And then the card of opportunity that I pulled is this one. It's the Queen of Swords. And I love the colors of this card, the red uh, lance she's got in her hand. I love the crown of half moons that she has. So swords for me are always cards of giant action. Like you are taking charge, you are doing something. And in this case, this is a woman, female empowerment, but not just females. For men also, the female side of your personality being empowered. And the female side, when we talk about that, we talk about the nurturing and the caring. Maybe it has to do with relationships. Maybe it has to do with um, anything that uh, that you kind of have a emotional interest in. And so this talks about 
kind of charging ahead with it and moving forward with full power. A lot of times when these opportunities come, we have, we are the self-sabotagers, right? We say, oh, no, 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 I can't possibly do that. I would never be able to do that. That's not going to happen. And that self-talk that we give ourselves, sometimes it's worse than things that we would say to other people. Um, we say things to us that we would never say to another person. And so this talks about, first of all, leave that self-talk behind because it's not going to help you. And then second, really move ahead. Don't just dip your toe in the pool. If you're going to do something, then do it. Then charge 100% ahead to actually take full advantage of the situation. A lot of times when we go to do something but we hold back, you don't get the full benefit of whatever it is that you're trying to do. So in this card, it reminds us to just go full ahead, commit to it, really commit to it and go. And then that way you can have the full benefit and the full rewards of whatever it is that you are um, attempting. Obviously, there is, anytime you attempt something like that, you put yourself out there, there's a vulnerability component where you think like, oh my God, what if it doesn't work out? Oh my God, what if I fail? Oh my God, what if something bad happens? That's always gonna happen and it's always gonna be there. But to me, the Queen of Swords talks about not letting those things hold you back. Yes, if it happens, then what's gonna happen? We're gonna deal with it when it happens. We're gonna deal with that. But don't let that be what stops you from taking that opportunity. Um, good things and bad things are always going to happen. Life is filled with them. And the only way that you can have the good things in your life is if you take advantage of them when they are presented to you. You can't, you're not gonna take advantage of bad things, obviously. Bad things are always gonna happen. We're gonna have a crap ton of them be be between now and when we pass. But the idea here is to just take those positive opportunities and really embrace them and really take full advantage of it so that when the bad stuff happens to you, it doesn't hit you so hard because you have this reservoir of good things that have happened to you. So I hope this was helpful for you. It definitely is something that I needed to hear for today. And um, I hope you all have a great week and I will see you next Monday. All right, bye-bye.